Chris Tyler. I'm Director of the Parliamentary Office of Science and Technology, uh, otherwise known as POST, and that's the body within Parliament that provides science advice and analysis to both the House of Commons and the House of Lords. The relationship between science and policy is is and always will be a complicated one. Um, making good policy decisions is an extremely difficult task. There's never one right answer, and whenever you make even a good decision, there are always going to be serious downsides. And the one thing you can absolutely guarantee is that no policy will ever be made with complete information. Um, so that's where the research community can play a really important role, which is providing research evidence that is relevant to policy, making it policy ready, making it useful to policy makers, um, and doing so in a timely fashion. Um, and... I would say, I would characterise the relationship between the two at the moment as being relatively healthy, certainly a lot better than it was a decade ago. Um, but there are still many things that need to improve. Um, the relationship um, uh, still has tensions where scientists feel that perhaps if they just simply communicate to policymakers um, what the evidence is, that the policymakers should simply understand that and should incorporate that into their decisions. But it's actually a very complicated thing to do to make that incorporation and I think that the, for policy makers to do, do in inverted commas, science better, scientists need to do policy better. Discussion of public, uh, science and public policy has been predominantly about the nature of its use in government, the executive. And the, that's very important but it's only talking about a, a, an element of uh, the decision making process. Um, we live in a parliamentary democracy and Parliament plays an extraordinarily important role in public debate, in scrutinising the work of the executive and in making laws and um, uh, uh, passing laws. And, um, and if we're going to get a really good understanding of the way that science is used in public policy, we need to get a better understanding about how science is being used in Parliament. Well, CSEP plays a critical role. Um, it's the first organisation of its kind that builds connections explicitly between research community and the policy community in quite the way that it does with a, such a people-focused um, approach. And that has proven invaluable. The demand for it has been extraordinary and continues to grow. Um, and I hope that we will be able to continue to work with CSAP to build that connection between the research community and the parliamentary element of policy. Mm -hmm.